Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Reading with Miss JC and happy Friday. Yay! Yes, what? On Monday next week, I get to see all of your beautiful faces in person. Yay! We're going to be back on campus. I'm so excited. I can hardly wait. And we have a special surprise on Monday, we will have a new student joining us. He actually technically joined Monday of this week, but you guys haven't got to meet him yet. His name is Nathan, and welcome, Nathan. If you're watching this, I can't wait to meet you in person, buddy. You're going to have such a great time with me and with our class. We are going to have a great week. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. So, to celebrate, going back to school on Monday for today's book. We are going to read Back to School. Back to School with Mr. Min, Little Miss. It says originated by Roger Hargreaves. So I don't know if it was actually written by Roger Hargreaves. I know he's written a lot of books. It could be like a Dr. Seuss situation where people write in the style of him because they've like obtained the rights. But anyways, Let's get going. <laughs> Back to school with Mr. Men, Little Miss. Here we go. Back to school with Mr. Men, Little Miss. Okay. <clears throat> Little Miss Tiny was very excited. It was her first day at school. She was so excited she woke up extra early and she got to school so early that it was not even open when she arrived. The only other person there was Little Miss Late, but she was not early, she was late, a whole semester late. When everyone else arrived, they had to hang their bags on their hooks. Mr. Muddle's bag was so heavy that it bent his hook. And why was it so heavy? Mr. Muddle had brought a pack full of rocks to school. A rock pack instead of a backpack. What a muddly old muddle he is. Miss, little Miss Tiny was looking forward to learning lots of new things at school. Her teacher was Little Miss Sunshine. Little Miss Tiny gave her an apple. But before Little Miss Sunshine could say thank you, Mr. Greedy had gobbled it up in one bite. Crunch! Little Miss Tiny had learned her first lesson that day. Don't leave food within Mr. Greedy's reach. The first real lesson of the day was writing. Little Miss Tiny very carefully copied the letters Little Miss Sunshine had written on the board. Unlike Mr. Messy. Then it was story time, read by Little Miss Chatterbox, who knew how to make a short story long. Very, very, very long. Little Miss Tiny was glad to escape out onto the playground at recess. She had a great time on the slide and in the sandbox, she made a friend, Mr. Small. He was almost the same size as Mr. Greedy's snack. And then it was painting time. Little Miss Sunshine asked them to paint their favorite thing. Little Miss Tiny painted a daisy. Little Miss Dottie painted lots of dots. Mr. Topsy-Turvy painted his cat, and Mr. Greedy painted a hot dog. Little Miss Tiny was very happy at lunchtime. She got to sit next to Mr. Small. They had a tiny portion and a small portion to eat. Half a hot dog and five peas each. After lunch, it was show and tell. Little Miss Naughty had brought her rubber spider. Little Miss Bossy, the principal, was not happy. 
not at all happy. Little Miss Tiny was very happy when they went on to math. Little Miss Sunshine had written a problem on the board. What is two plus two, she asked. Little Miss Tiny was about to answer four, but someone answered before her. Two plus two equals 573.1 and two halves, cried Mr. Wrong. Oh dear, when Mr. Wrong gets something wrong, he gets it really, really wrong. And then it was time for sports. Mr. Silly was their gym teacher. Nobody could work out what sport they were supposed to be playing, but it was great fun. Little Miss Tiny was pretty sad when the bell rang for the end of school. And that night she lay in bed and remembered all the fun things she had done that day. The next day she remembered something else. She remembered to take two apples to school. One for her teacher and one for Mr. Greedy. Crunch. The end. Well, that is it for this week's reading with Miss Stacy, boys and girls. I hope you had a good time and I hope you liked my selections. And I will see you back on campus on Monday. Yay, I'm so excited. All right, I hope everybody has a great weekend. Mwah! See you soon.